IBM says it's using its weather company division to come up with a super accurate forecasting system. It's called Graph and was unveiled today at the CAS Expo in Las Vegas. IBM says it can be really useful to industries like agriculture and transportation, especially in developing countries. Weather company CEO Cameron Clayton is in Las Vegas and joins us now. Thank you so much for joining us. How much more accurate can our weather forecasts become? I know that, I mean, any really minuscule change for agriculture is important, but it's also about doing it in the right time frame as well. Absolutely. It's fantastic to be here. Forecasting and forecast accuracy is something we've been working on for 30 plus years. Today we're excited uh, to announce graph model that improves forecast resolution. So the number of places in the world where we actually model a forecast to every two miles or three kilometers. Uh, we've also improved the time frame uh, on that from once or twice a day uh, to every hour. And what that means is, you know, a farmer in Kenya gets the same forecast now with this new system as a farmer in Kansas, right? So we're, we're helping connect the entire world. The first time there's been a true global model and it's 200% higher resolution than the next closest model. Cameron, I mean, what's important here as well, and you speak about, you know, countries like Kenya, is the long-term forecasts as well. That's really needed to understand when to plant, when the rains are going to come. How much of a, an increase are you going to see in terms of accuracy for the long-term side of things as well? So actually what we find is the weather company is really all about helping people make better decisions. Uh, and most of the decisions are made in the next 24 hours, right? So as a, as a consumer, it's what to wear, what to pack, uh, et cetera. For enterprise, it's all about, you know, how many staff do I need tomorrow at my retail store? Yeah. Should I plant tomorrow? Should I spray tomorrow? How's my uh, truck gonna be impacted on its route uh, today or tomorrow? That's where we see the vast majority of decisions uh, being made. And so for the entire world to be able to map the atmosphere, so from the, from the you know, ground zero all the way up to 62 miles at the edge of space, we're mapping the entire atmosphere to, to this yeah. degree of granularity. That wouldn't be possible without Cam better yeah. data, better yeah. science and better compute. I know that this is going to be uh, counting on a lot of data and you're even looking at crowds, crowdsourcing in terms of sensors and so forth. But right now, there's a lawsuit that's underway for allegedly, um, you know, sourcing data from consumers from the application um, and, and using uh, their data. Tell me about the mix between privacy and, you know, getting the information that you need and how you're going to be more transparent down the line. So IBM and the weather company have always been about trust and transparency. It's in our DNA. It always has been and it always will be. We will vigorously defend uh, the, the LA uh, uh, issue that, that you mentioned. And look, we ask for people's consent today and we will ask for it tomorrow. We're really excited about the ability for people to contribute to make the world a better place, to help their neighbor by crowdsourcing the weather and with their permission, you know, they'll be able to do that. Are you going to be more uh, transparent in getting their permission? Impact. Are you going to be more transparent in getting permission from users? We're looking at, at all aspects uh, uh, of that currently. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Much appreciated.